Can we talk a little bit about this imagery of, of light and darkness and, and what we can learn from it? So there's this fear of, if I believe that Christ is there to condemn me, I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna hide in the shadows. But when, you, when we start to realize Christ isn't come to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved, then we can come out of whatever dark place we're in and come into the light because we know that he's there to heal us, he's there to cleanse us. And even if what we've done maybe is something we're ashamed of, we don't have to stay in the darkness because through him, our, our guilt can be swept away. And, and I like the idea that you just mentioned. My wife has done a lot of studies on this idea of darkness and we should l look at it and understand what darkness is. It could be a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. Sometimes darkness could be step into the dark, step into your faith, mm -hmm. uh, just like keep the moving forward keep without moving knowing forward. what. So we yeah. should be very careful not to think darkness is always right. an evil thing because right. darkness also testifies of the light. Yeah. Yeah. And so, you know, God made the nighttime, he made the daytime. So dark yeah. has, a, has a function. And one of the functions that darkness has is to testify of the light. Yeah. That's a great a lesson to learn mm -hmm. of, of what, the, what darkness can represent at different times. Yeah. Yeah. Just out of the serpent, the idea of the serpent, mm -hmm. Jesus, you know, cr you know, talk about the serpent in the garden, uh, the serpent being bad, but also that's the staff. Right, yeah. right, right, here. The right yeah. So yeah. as we read scriptures, we should look for meaning and let the mm -hmm. Holy Ghost teach us. What does this mean for me? And symbols can mean different things in different contexts. Exactly. So really, I think exactly. it's very good, careful reading to mm -hmm. recognize this sort of multiple meanings and to see what is it saying right here. Yeah, that's the great thing about the story of of the, when Jesus turned the water to wine, mm -hmm. John doesn't give a lot of interpretation of what things mean and it allows the Holy Ghost to teach us what does that mean to us being changed, being turned. Mm -hmm.